Hello guys. Welcome to Diablo the Primordial. This video is the continuation video after Mastermind Seal. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. And please check out my second channel Top Anime Sensei for the light novel of Tensura. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. Velgrind walked quietly to Veldora with a gentle smile on her beautiful face. However, Veldora knew that she was never a gentle person and that she was the embodiment of this world's terror. Ah, uh, Hawa. It wasn't, Hawa, you damn fool. Velgrind's fists approached him. Veldora's train of thought stopped operating as if they were paralyzed, it was impossible for him to take evasive action. Alas, the memories of fear etched in his instinct from his childhood interfered with Veldora's action. An awfully heavy and painful, but damage-less attack hit Veldora. It didn't take much time for Veldora's eyes became teary. Koo, isn't this strange? How could Anya move? Weren't you being controlled? Shut up. Did you think that I'll fall for the same trick over and over again? Did you underestimate me? Hey, Veldora? No no, I didn't mean it that way. While trembling, Veldora realized that there was nothing he could do except to wait for his older sister's anger to subside. What is really absurd was that the damage jumped over parallel existence and reached Veldora's main body. The reason for that was. Hmm, this is sure convenient, I see it's something called space-time continuous strike. Whether it's parallel existence or multiple existence, it seems I can deal an attack beyond the space-time with this. Velgrind nodded pleasingly. Veldora who heard it started to look pale. Velgrind's words meant that his method of escaping by sacrificing one of his clones as the scapegoat was no longer usable. Parallel existence had given him an absolute advantage, but now it had fallen to a meaningless ability. Indeed, it was the birth of the natural enemy of Veldora. Whoa, what have you done, Rimuru? Veldora screamed in his mind. He couldn't think of anyone else other than his close friend, Rimuru who would give such unnecessary help like that to his older sister, Velgrind. Velgrind seemed to be satisfied after hitting Veldora for some time and turned her face towards Velzard. And, towards Veldora who was grumbling, it was supposed to be the best scene though, isn't this different from the promise, Velgrind said. Silence, how unsightly. If you are my younger brother, don't expose more of your foolishness, Veldora, I will leave the hero to you. She's your friend's important person, right? Make sure you don't fail foolishly, I'll be a news opponent. But, how tedious, are you going to make me say it twice? Understood, Aniue. Veldora understood Velgrind's words and bowed respectfully. It would be a foolish thing for him to go against his older sister. While rubbing his beaten cheeks, Veldora went towards Lucia who had possessed the hero Chloe. Looking at Veldora, Velgrind turned around to say something to Guy. Guy, if it's you, you can cancel the control over Aniue, right? Yeah, it's possible. However, I can't do it while fighting. No problem. I have my stupid younger brother to deal with the hero Chloe. I want you to do your best in releasing Aniue from their control. Receiving Velgrind's request, Guy pondered for a bit. Canceling it might be possible. After all, he had seen the control activation happen before his eyes, so he could understand the principles behind it. The problem was the time required for it. Listen, the cancellation would take quite some time with how I'm right now. Because I need to do a specialized calculation to cancel it, don't expect me for help during that time, okay? By the way, my fighting strength would decrease greatly. If you guys lost, it would be our defeat. Even so, you don't mind right? No, hurry up and start it. Guy decided to believe in both of them after he received Velgrind's approval. He wouldn't disappear even if he got defeated, and in the worst case, he would get revived after several hundred years. A defeat wouldn't be interesting for Guy who was the strongest, but it wasn't something that he should avoid either. He thought that if it could distract him from his boredom, he had no regret even if it became so. Alright, it's pretty annoying for my Velzard to be controlled forever, I guess I shall release her from it quickly. Saying so, Guy started the ritual of status alteration, which he hadn't done in a long time. Velgrind and Velzard faced each other. And Veldora walked towards the hero Chloe, in other words, Lucia. It appeared that everyone was confirming their respective opponent. Lucia didn't panic even when she saw it. No, she thought that there was no need to panic. She acknowledged Veldora's strength. Since he had defeated De Gruel too, his strength was the real deal. But, for Lucia, 
Oh Velzard, go kill Velgrind. She gave a brief order. However, she wasn't calm on the inside due to one problem. It was certain that the control circuits to Velgrind had been severed. She couldn't think of the cause, since the control circuits prepared by Velda were impossible to sever unless it was by the controller. The only possible cause she could think of was the loss of the Angel series ability either due to an evolution of the ability or degeneration. Could such a phenomenon conveniently occur in a situation like this? Was a question that popped up in her head. But, Lucia stopped thinking too deeply about it. She had an interest in the sample, but she decided that she would think about it later. Although she had raised a question, it didn't affect her fighting forces. She had the strongest true dragon Velzard under her control. And Lucia herself had become the strongest being too. At the same time Lucia gave an order to Velzard, she drew the katana that Chloe held. The body moved naturally, and untold swordsmanship could be seen. Lucia had assumed that Chloe's ability had completely become her own and was convinced of her victory. Right now, Lucia's main body was protected by Castle Guard, but she could go on the offensive because she had possessed the hero Chloe. In other words, her main body wouldn't be defeated no matter what happened so her defeat was impossible. There were no attacks that could work on her. Velgrind's azure hair spread out and was waving like flames. At the same time, Velzard's pure white hair also curled up like a blizzard. Both of them moved simultaneously, a large-scale shockwave like a nuclear strike was created as both of them shifted into an all-out fight. Velgrind's crimson fist howled as it clashed with Velzard's snow crystal and broke it. Its fragments became diamond dust and rained down over Velgrind. However, before Velgrind who had become the incarnation of the flame god, ice-type attacks had no meaning. The rank between their ability was different. With her strength increased remarkably, Velgrind approached Velzard. Since she had left the cancellation of the control to Guy, she only had to earn more time for him. Velgrind challenged Velzard as to test her enhanced ability. Veldora took a stance towards Chloe. And then he thought. Why am I barehanded? Chloe had a katana, but why I'm barehanded like this? So he thought something like that, but if he said it right now, it would surely incur her older sister's wrath. Clearly, Veldora knew that Chloe's swordsmanship was the best of the best, there was no one who could rival her. He had experienced it once, he thought that he was at a disadvantage for being unarmed. At that time, he could nullify Chloe's absolute severance because he had the advantage of being a spiritual life form and both of them didn't possess ultimate skill, but he couldn't nullify the current Chloe sword techniques. After all, Chloe was fighting evenly against Guy until a while ago. This is very bad, so Veldora thought. Well, his troubles were only on the level of, it seems to be painful if I get cut though. At that moment, a sword pierced the ground in front of Veldora. It was one of the best swords in this world, the demonic sword. Hey, use that. When Veldora turned around, there was a fiercely beautiful woman beyond his eyes. Her scarlet hair flowed down divinely, the presence of her abundant breasts and round buttocks were emphasized by her slender waist that looked like it could break easily. It was Guy who had transformed into his female form. Guy, is that you? Ah, uh, who else do you think is here? It's me of course. Guy annoyedly replied to Veldora's question. Guy had no fixation over the difference between genders, he didn't care about appearance. Ability was more important than appearance. Different from his male form which was specialized for combat, his female form was specialized in processing information. Guy thought that it was necessary to raise his information processing power to the maximum in order to cancel the control circuits that had been created by Veldanava. Therefore, he had transformed into his female form after a long time. That was all. Then, I shall use it. Oh, don't lose, okay? Kuha ha 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 ha, what a foolish question. I had thought that I wanted to fight with the hero who got serious once again. This is a good chance for it, I shall fight her seriously too. While saying those words, Veldora regained his confidence with Guy reply of, well, good luck. He thought that talking to him would be a waste of time. Guy switched his consciousness and put Velzard into his sight. And, just you wait. I'll release you from it right away. Guy concentrated deeply and calmly which sharpened his ability. Guy's god speed calculation raised his normally high processing power to an excited state. Guy diverted all of his energy to the calculation without any hesitation and began the spiritual dive towards Velzard. Velzard couldn't hide her surprise and confusion as she saw Velgrind who had grown stronger unexpectedly. 
She felt happy for her younger sister's growth and also rage as she was someone who was obstructing her path. Now Velzard could only acknowledge that Velgrind was an unavoidable hindrance for her to kill Guy. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my earlier videos, then please watch them. The links are in the description. And please check out my other channel Top Anime Sensei for the light novel of Tensura. And don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.